subscribing. Hey guys, I'm listening to a motivational video on YouTube creation because I'm going through it at the moment, I tell you. Our minds can be our best asset or our greatest adversary, our friend or our foe. And for a month I've been in this loop with my own mind of perfectionism, which would create procrastination, bringing on imposter syndrome. And this video is my antidote, the action to help break this cycle. And I'm sharing it with you in case you also struggle with these mental barriers and creative blocks. Perfectionism, oh, the crippling expectation and standard that we hold for ourselves that things have to be perfect. And sometimes it's not just the thing we have to create or we have to meet a standard of perfection. It can be that we have to wait for a perfect time. We have to wait for everything to fall into place that there's this like standard and this code of perfection <laughs> that we have to meet. And often that's just so unrealistic. No one's perfect. And when you think that things have to be perfect, we can procrastinate because the idea of creating something that's perfect is too intense, it's too immense. And so we put things off and off and off. It also can bring in imposter syndrome where the thought of meeting this perfect kind of scenario you've got in your head, this standard and this expectation uh, makes you feel like an imposter, like a fraud, like you can possibly, you know, meet this perfect standard. And so you start questioning why you're doing it or if you should even be doing it um, because you're subpar. And all of that is a mental game that our brain is playing with us. And that's not the truth. You know, there is no such thing as perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect time or a right time. Uh, you can't put things off in the future, you know, and expect them to, to happen. We have to take action. We have to get moving in the here and the now. I was convinced it was lack of structure in my life that was stopping me from being able to create and do everything that I wanted to do. But when I created the structure, the organization, you know, did all of this stuff, I still wasn't getting it done. So it wasn't actually the lack of structure. It was the lack of action, the lack of motivation to strike, to move forward, to actually uh, put the gear into drive and take off. A perfect example of this is when I sat down to film today's video, I was sitting thinking about all the things that I had to achieve, looking at my list and telling myself, I wouldn't be able to achieve any of that today. It's too much. I had nothing to film. My YouTube is crap. Why am I even doing this? My mind was spiraling and imposter syndrome, my standard of everything having to be perfect and then procrastinating on not doing any of these things was taking over my day. And I decided to take action. I literally pressed film on this video so I could talk to you about this exact feeling that I was having. I got up, turned on the camera and said, Hey guys, I'm listening to. You know what? This feeling started to shift. I have been waiting for an entire month to film a video. I've been starting a little bit here, starting a little bit there. But the feeling that I wasn't good enough, the feeling that it needed to be perfect, that now wasn't the right time, that I had to wait until it was perfect, until the timing was perfect, until something could all fall into place. And that is just so not true, so not correct. There is never a right time. The right time is now. Now is the only time that we have. Watching content on YouTube, on podcasts can help so much. It can just help get you out of your head if you're spiraling and really remind you that you're not the only person who is going through this. It's so natural to feel that way sometimes. It's important for us to not stop creating and not to stop you know, doing things that we love because our mindset is holding us back. And I always think of resistance like the arrow on a bow and arrow before it can be shot forward it has to be pulled backwards and often the biggest times in my life where I have creative flow and activation in my life coupled with resistance and this feeling of like being dragged backwards and not being creative at all 
one of the ways I love to move through my perfectionism is right this like I have no makeup on I'm filming at night time with really terrible lighting and my brain is like put your makeup on wait until the daylight's coming through put your lights on have everything perfect and I find putting myself in situations where I'm you know doing the opposite of what my perfectionism is telling me it kind of helps me prove to myself that it doesn't need to be perfect or that what I'm doing now is perfect and uh, it just has personally helped me uh, move through those barriers of like constantly trying to micromanage myself with perfection standards when it comes to procrastination we can make procrastinating for a million different reasons I specifically am just talking about perfectionism and procrastination I think that when we have this huge mountain um, of things that we need to do it feels so overwhelming and it's important to remember that the mountain is like the end result you know we want to climb a mountain at the end that's a destination we need to focus on the journey to get to the top of the mountain. So if you've got all these things to do, start by just doing number one. Like one tiny step is better than uh, not doing anything at all or putting it off. And that is literally the road to procrastination. So one of the things I also like to do, it may seem really silly, but I talk myself through what I'm doing. So I kind of act like my grandmother and be like, okay, Samantha, get up. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna get the washing. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna go grab the camera. Like I kind of talk myself through uh, my routine sometimes because I find uh, if not, I just kind of am thinking in my own head, like, oh, I'll do it later. I can't be bothered filming right now and I'm like no get up do it like I give myself a little pep talk and that can help kind of push me through um in action to taking action if this resonates sometimes it can be helpful to have a look at what it is you're using when you procrastinate are you watching tv are you scrolling on social media i know for me i love the hd podcast i'm a super trooper and i watch uh, the podcast four times a week so i tend to go and watch that while i'm working but i get very distracted i sit on my social media apps so sometimes deleting the apps that i'm going on constantly and wasting all this time and procrastinating on that can really help it's like setting boundaries around when I can watch my favorite show or when I can watch the podcast when I watch Netflix and I'm really strict with myself like no you can only watch it in the afternoon after you've done your work because if I give myself an inch sometimes I'll take a mile and I find that I just sit and I watch the entire podcast or I watch a whole thing of Netflix shows instead of getting the work done that I want I am my own boss and my own manager. There is no one to motivate me, keep me on task, or uh, you know, push me forward except for myself. But it also means I am the only person standing in my own way. And that is why this video was so important. By creating this video, I simultaneously solved the problem by actually taking action and creating something when I kept on telling myself that I couldn't. And for a whole month, I have not made one single thing. So here I am making this video showing up and even though it's not perfect in the way that I would love my videos to be it's perfect for now and I hope that this inspires somebody who also struggles with some of the themes that I have spoken about I'm sure there'll be many many more videos uh, like I said I've got so much to say on the topic I just want to keep this one short and sweet because I don't want to be my own worst enemy that's another part of my procrastination and perfectionism is that I literally want them to be really long 15 20 minute videos and sometimes this is what it has to be thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it subscribe to the channel if you feel the call to join my online family so if you have been struggling with taking a step forward maybe try some of the tips that i have um, given in this video and i'm also going to be Oh, my intention is to try and make two videos a week, one on mindfulness and, um, you know, healing and all those sorts of things. And then the other one is just like a normal video on, you know, whatever the video is of the week. So uh, hopefully you can come and have a cup of tea with me in those, uh, you know, midweek videos and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye, my loves. <laughs>